Hello, here is your weekly weather briefing for North Central and Southwest Montana, valid for the week of December 30th, 2021 through January 5th, 2022. The overall message for the week is a continued cycle of up and down temperatures, ranging from around 25 degrees below zero up to the seasonally average mid 30s. Areas of light snow will accompany the dips towards colder temperatures, while increasing wind and areas of blowing snow will be associated with warmer temperatures. These swings in temperatures are known to increase the potential for ice jam flooding. Let's look at these points in further detail. So here's a look at the potential hazards associated with this week's weather changes viewed in a matrix format. Please pause here if you'd like to take a closer look at where and when the higher risks from these hazards are expected. The next cold front advances through the region later today and overnight into Friday. Areas of light snow will develop as temperatures turn colder. Expected snowfall today through tomorrow is around a trace to 1.5 inches for most lower elevation areas, with just over 4 inches possible over the central and southwest mountains. Here's a look at the roller coaster of high temperatures through the week ahead. You see high temperatures dip back into the single digits on Friday. The temperatures then moderate through the weekend into early next week. The trend reverses later Tuesday into Wednesday as another Arctic air mass arrives. The same trends are seen in the daily minimum temperatures. Note the sub-zero temperatures returning tonight and Friday night. It will be very cold New Year's Eve for those celebrating outdoors. Overnight temperatures also moderate through the weekend before the sub-zero weather arrives by next Tuesday or Wednesday. Downsloping Chinook winds will be partly responsible for the warming temperatures starting early on New Year's Day. Wind gusts approaching 60 miles an hour will produce areas of blowing snow and difficult travel conditions for the Rocky Mountain Front and other downslope areas of north central Montana Saturday and Sunday. While we enjoy a return to seasonable temperatures over the weekend, remain prepared for a return to Arctic cold returning to the region Tuesday or Wednesday next week then persisting for at least a few days after that. We can also expect some areas of light snowfall with the return to colder temperatures next week. Snowfall amounts appear most likely to remain on the light side, but details and timing and location remain unclear at this time. Let's piece it together into the weekly forecast for Great Falls. Note the return to colder temperatures with periods of light snow through Friday. Chinook winds help moderate temperatures through the weekend. A cold front arrives sometime on Tuesday, producing areas of light snow as temperatures trend back down below zero by the middle of next week. You see the same pattern overall in southwest Montana, although the range of temperatures is not quite as wide as we'll expect to see further north. Some of the southwest valleys could take a day or two longer this weekend to scour out the cold, stable air trapped at lower elevations. The next wave of colder weather does not appear as extreme as the north, or at least it waits until later next week to filter back through those southwest valleys. With the prolonged cold temperatures over the last week, we're seeing increased potential for ice jams on creeks and rivers, including the Missouri River. Here's a hydrograph at Fort Benton showing the rapid rise from around 2 feet and now up to 7 feet. There is no flooding here, but just an example of how quickly ri river levels can change when the icing begins. Here's another example for the Jefferson River near Twin Bridges. Ice jams are unpredictable. Flooding can occur as water builds up behind an ice jam, or with moderating temperatures, flooding can occur downstream if an ice jam breaks down and releases water. Please observe and report ice jam activity to local authorities or to our National Weather Service office here in Great Falls. Once again, here's a list of the key points we've considered for this week ahead. Please feel free to call us or send us an email with any questions or comments. Have a happy and safe New Year.